welcome to your energy update for October 2022. So we're going to be diving into all the energies that you can expect to come in this month. And honestly, September was definitely a rocky month for a lot of us. And October is coming in with a brand new energy. So we're really going to be stepping into such a powerful month. I've been being guided to really prepare for this month for several months. Um, so we're really going to be ending this year, October, November, December, with kind of the most potent energies that we have experienced yet in 2020. 22. So as we go through this energy update, I'm going to be diving into all of the things that you can kind of expect and some of the tools and ways that you can work with some of these energies. So if this is your first time being here with me, welcome. I'm super excited to have you here. I'm Rachel Gargan. So I am an energy healer and intuitive, and I also as well am an energy reader. So I'm able to kind of see some of the upcoming energies and some of the shifts that are happening. So I'm going to be talking about some of these shifts. And just a couple housekeeping notes, I have the Divine Ascension Portal community. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being with me. And this community is really what supports me to be able to allow me to show up here for you guys, give all of this amazing free content. And we also as well do weekly live events inside of this community to be able to help you navigate the energies as we kind of move through all the shifts that are going to be coming. So if you're looking for more support, if you're looking for a community of like-minded people, I will link that below for you because this is absolutely a beautiful sacred space that you can come to to be able to learn, to express yourself, and to connect with other like-minded souls. So let's get right into October. So October is really going to be coming in with a huge shift is really the main thing that I've been seeing. So we've been in, as we've worked through some of September energies, a lot of shadow. We've had several planets in retrograde. There's been a little bit of this like back working type energy where we're working through some of our old patterns, our old wounding, our old conditioning. And as we move through October, this is gonna to begin to shift. So October really has this new energy to it, but also a very fast, a very accelerated energy to it as well. So I also see that some of us are going to kind of be running to catch up a little bit. And definitely as we step into October, really beginning to slow down, especially at the beginning of October before some of these larger energies come in, is going to help you be able to nourish yourself, fill yourself up and have more energy at your disposal within your being to be able to navigate some of those faster energies that are going to be coming as we move through this month. So October is really going to be starting off with a lot of energy right out of the gate. So we have Mercury coming out of retrograde on the second, and this is going to start to move some of this energy forward. So it's almost like we've been being pulled backwards, and then we're going to have Mercury um, coming out of retrograde on the second, and then right alongside that, we're going to be moving into the full moon in Aries on the ninth, and then we also have the 1010 portal, which is going to be massive guys this is going to be a huge date and especially because it's happening alongside that full moon it's going to be a very potent energy so these like first couple weeks of October are immediately we're going to feel this shift so one of the main themes that is coming up in this energy is this new energy, that we're stepping into new, we're stepping into new relationships, new beginnings, new ways of doing things. But as we begin to do this, we're still having this little bit of a battle inside of ourselves between the old and the new. So this is what I'm really seeing as like a theme as we move through this month is this um, power struggle that a lot of us are going to be going through internally. So we're going to be going through a time where 
we're really, really starting to deconstruct, are the words that I'm hearing, a lot of those old patterns and really stepping into this new, better, higher, beautiful, more divine energy. And this is going to be such a huge shift and a huge transformation for a lot of us. So we're really being guided as well to take the time and the opportunities that we have to really look at any of those patterns that we have, any of our shadow aspects that we have, and anything that is really lying dormant inside of our being, anything that we've suppressed in the past, that we really want to spend some time with these areas of ourselves. Because the more we spend time with these areas, the more we're going to be able to transmute and alchemize this energy into a new energy so that we can actually continue to move forward. And one of the things that's being brought up for me right now is that there is also a misconception in the new that we think that we're going to be doing new things, new jobs, new relationships, new, 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 right? And we have these ideas of what new looks like, but it's also that we're going to be doing some of the old things that we've always done, but we're going to be bringing a new energy, a new level of consciousness, and a new level of joy and commitment to things that we have always done in the past. Or there may be a slight restructuring and reworking to something that is old, and it's not necessarily that it's going to be a new Thing, even if it's a job. So I'm hearing right now that, you know, maybe some of us are looking for that new job. Well, it may not be necessarily that we're going to get that new job, but it may be that we need to look at where we are in our present moment and begin to rework some of the contracts that we've made within our job, some of the boundaries that we have within our job, how many hours we're working within our job, what our pay is, things like this, so that we're restructuring something that is old and framing it in a new light. And we're gonna to begin to show up in those things in a different way. So this is really a lot of the energy that I'm seeing come in for October. And then as we continue to move through October, we're also going to have um, several other planets that are going to be coming out of retrograde as well. So we have Pluto's retrograde ends on the 8th, and we also have um, the Mars retrograde that's going to be ending on the 30th. So these are three between um, Mars, Pluto, and Mercury. These are three planets that are really going to be moving this energy forward. And then we also as well have the eclipses that are going to be coming closer to the end of this month. So our first eclipse is the partial solar eclipse in Scorpio, which is going to be happening on the 25th. So we also feel eclipse energies up to four weeks before they happen. So these energies right at the gate of the beginning of October are already coming in. And this is going to be a huge part of the energy that we're gonna be feeling this month. And then we also have our second eclipse, which is going to be happening on um, the 8th of November. And this is a total lunar eclipse in uh, Taurus. So these two eclipses, this is really, again, our second eclipse season of 2022. So we can also, as we move through this month, take a look back at what was happening in your life in um, April and May. So what were some of the themes that were coming up in your life around that period of time? And we may see some of these themes resurface. So whether it is the same people are gonna be resurfacing, some of the same struggles are gonna be resurfacing, anything that we weren't necessarily able to fully integrate or to clear away in April and May is going to be coming back up during this month and moving into November as well. So we have some of those huge transitions. So one of the things that we can do to begin to really start to look at like, okay, how can I work with this energy is instead of being in resistance and kind of not knowing exactly what is happening, actually take some time and look back and tune into your energy and what you are experiencing earlier on in the year 
and starting to, you know, work with some of those energies and transmuting them in a willing way and in a conscious way is going to help these eclipses um, move the energy in a much more like gentle way is kind of how I'm seeing it. Otherwise, these things are going to continue to just bubble up whether we want them to or not. So that is part of the energy of October. And we really have this beautiful alongside some of this um and seeing like that there's a little bit of upheaval that there's a little bit of chaos that could be a potential for this month but the chaos that's coming is also really a lot of what we've been asking for a lot of this chaos is going to come up to really bring some of these patterns that we have, relationships that we have, toxic behaviors that we have up to the surface because it has to come up to the surface so that we can actually become conscious of it because we can't heal something, we can't bring awareness to something if we're not conscious of it or if we don't even realize that it's something that is there. So some of these things are going to be coming up and then we're going to be able to work with them in a new way and shed new light on these kind of old things and start to work and transmute those energies. So I'm also hearing as well that it's going to be very important for us to alchemize this energy so what alchemy really is is actually that we're transmuting energy so we want to begin as we move through this month to move away from trying to clear energy because this clearing is sometimes being done right now in resistance to what the energy actually is so we're being asked to more so sit in what is coming up to feel it and allow it to be transmuted and this is where some of that like deep cellular healing is going to actually take place for you so we're really being guided to um, sit and witness what is arising for us during this period of time. And another thing that's coming up as well, which is um, a kind of all part of alchemy a little bit, or this transmutation a little bit, is to um, pull on some of the elements and the resources that we have available to us. So they're showing me, you know, water. So if you are somebody who's feeling a lot of emotional energy, spend some time with water whether that is having salt baths or drinking more water is going to be very important over this month. Um, you know, spending time near large bodies of water. Um, this type of thing can be very amazing and healing when we're working with our emotional body. We also as well, when you're working with the physical body, if you're having a lot of aches and pains or you feel drained or you're not sleeping, then we can spend a lot more time with the earth and actually grounding into Mother Earth and Gaia. And this is going to help you be able to integrate on that physical level a lot easier. Um, we also as well have fire that's coming up and this is some of that life force energy stepping into our power stepping into our sovereignty and you know um feeling that inner fire that inner excitement so you know you can light candles have a bonfire do a ceremony with fire or something like this and this is going to help you kind of ignite um, some of that passion again so I'm also hearing that there is like an igniting if you're kind of um, lacking motivation or you're lacking passion in your life you can draw on the element of fire to help ignite and re-spark that passion and joy um, we also as well have you know a light um, light can be very important because this is our spiritual self so and light and spirit is in everything and all elements so this is really again about gaining that higher perspective so that you can kind of pull yourself out of your humanness a little bit um, so sometimes we can kind of 
put those blinders on and be in our human, which can be very restricting. And some of us may need to actually kind of release this and pull outward and look at the larger perspective of things and to find the joy and the consciousness and the spirit and, you know, um, the universe in all things. And this is going to help us continue to open up our heart space as well. Um, because there's going to be a lot of heart chakra activations and a lot of heart opening activations. So this can be a really good tool, um, this higher perspective and working with the elements of light. So that is even just spending time in the sun and allowing the rays of the sun to actually touch your skin. Um, this can be a really beautiful way to work with that element. And then we also have air as well. So air, you know, um, has to do with the mind. So if you're somebody who has um, a lot of uh, analytical thoughts and you're like in your head all the time and you're a very linear thinking and kind of A, B, C when it comes to a lot of whether it's your healing journey, they're saying some of us can be um, a little bit linear whenever it comes to how we are operating and doing things and how we want to even do our healing journey. And some of this as well can come down air is also the element of communication. So there is going to be a lot of communication and a lot of relationship that is coming up this month. So working with the element of air and breathing in fresh air, opening up the windows in your house, allowing that fresh air to actually come into your home and cleanse the air of your home can be a really good way to work with this element. So we're being asked to draw on the resources that we have available to us to help us be able to navigate some of these energies that are going to be coming up. Grounding is going to be a huge theme moving forward um, is what I'm hearing, not just for this month. I feel like that it's a theme that like keeps coming up in a lot of my teachings and workshops and even though a lot of the one on one sessions that I do that I'm seeing that grounding is a huge theme. Theme, a huge huge theme so if you are you know struggling to sleep if you're somebody who um, like it does a lot of astral traveling if you do a lot of channeling or work like this grounding is going to be key moving forward because as the vibration of the planet continues to rise and as it continues to accelerate and things start to happen a lot faster it's going to be extremely important for us to ground and they're also showing me right now that as we move through October, it's going to be important for us to really, really stay centered in our own being. So it's always that we are going to need to um, bring our external focus back inward on a regular basis, guys. So this is one of the most important things that we have to allow that time and space for us to actually sit down with ourselves and to tune inward and see what is coming up. So any of the healing that's being done, any of the energy that is coming in, any part of the ascension that is happening happens with you first. And this is super important because a lot of the time we are wanting to manifest something in the physical, but we also hear, you know, the, the saying, like as within, so without, right? And it's really, really true. Whatever is going on within your being is what is going to actually be projecting out and creating that external reality. So even as things continue to shift and evolve on the external, there's going to continue to be a lot of noise that is coming up that you have to always bring yourself back. And this is gonna be very important as we move through October, November, December energy is to quiet the external noise and to remember that what you are doing by transmuting the energies on the inside is shifting the energy of the external, even though it will not 
be seen and manifest in the external as quickly as it's going to within your internal but that it is absolutely making massive shifts not just small shifts and massive shifts on the external and the energy that's going out into the external and creating that collective reality for all of us so really bringing your energy out of the collective energy and drawing it back into yourself and really, really focusing on anchoring into your own being because we are becoming the masters of our own energy. So they're saying that, let me just tune in, that we cannot become the masters of manifestation and we cannot become the masters of um, shifting external energy or manipulating the physical until we are the masters of our own energy and our own internal energy. So it's okay and you absolutely, a lot of us, they're saying right now, have the want to make massive shifts in the external. And this is absolutely beautiful and your drive to want to help humanity and be of service to humanity is so abnormal. Uh, I can't say that word, but yeah, they're saying admirable. Yeah, maybe that's the word. But it's so, um, you know, they admire that about us. So what they're really saying is that do not underestimate the amount of shifts that you make by shifting your own internal, because this is where the actual power comes from. That the moment that we begin to master our multidimensional being, which is part of the embodiment that is happening on the planet right now, that this embodiment and this self mastery is going to allow us to actually eventually continue to be evolved to be the masters of the external reality as well. And this is something that is absolutely 100% coming, but we really need to continue to focus on that inner work right now because we're not only transmuting the trauma that we've experienced in our life or in our past lives or that's being held in our bodies, but we're also transmuting a lot of these energies for the entire collective. Every single one of us is connected right so it really is like the butterfly effect the small shifts and changes that you are making on your internal is shifting and creating hurricanes of change in another area right and whether we know it is or not or whether we can see it or we're conscious of it or not it is absolutely 100 percent happening um so as we they're even bringing up as well doing like groups groups healing sessions um spending finding your community being in group um can be really important because as you all sit with, in communion with each other um that you know when one person is healing something and sharing in a vulnerable authentic place that this actually heals all other six or seven eight people that are in that community as well right so it's making these massive shifts when we're in a group together so it can be very important that you find your community and that you find your like-minded people um yeah so this is definitely another thing that is coming up is to reach out and find like-minded people right now and as we continue to come into this self mastery we're going to begin to find that we are raising our vibration right and as you raise your vibration it's going to actually be easier for you than it may feel right now for you to be in these lower energies so a lot of the collective or you know the yeah a lot of the collective energy or even our workplace um, our environment has more of these denser energies and some of us are even in resistance to um, having to go to work like like there's a resistance to having to actually show up in some of these denser energies and the thing is, is that as we continue to master ourselves, and as we continue to raise our own vibration, the easier it's going to be for you to stand within a lower vibrational energy and the lower vibrational energy isn't going to be able to penetrate you. It's not going to be able to come in. It's not going to shift your energy 
because we're coming into a time where we are really starting to actually stand in our power and in our sovereignty and you will be able to um they're showing me like literally um a visual of a woman who's standing outside in her bare feet and she's got a, like a white dress on and it's like blowing in the breeze and the rain is coming down there's a hurricane around her and it's almost like she's untouched by the environment that's happening around her she's just kind of standing there and she can feel the breeze and you know but it's not affecting her that it could be a beautiful sunny day and she would look the exact same standing there on this like little hill that I can see. So this is kind of the visual that we're being given for that energy is that we are going to, as we continue to master our own self mastery, we're going to begin to actually be able to play in the external density and be unwavering in that. And as we do that, that it's like once we transmute and alchemize all of those multidimensional aspects of ourself, as we stand into this collective energy by just physically showing up, you are going to be able to transmute and alchemize a lot of the energy that's happening within the external environment around you. So this is kind of where this energy is going. So they're showing me this because a lot of us are starting to come into this already. There's many people who are going to be watching this video who are really feeling that they're like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've done the work. It's time now. I'm not, you know, nervous of some of these big shifts because I've really stepped into surrender. I've really stepped into trust. I know that any shift that's coming my way is going to be moving me in the direction that I want to be going and that is meant for me, that is going to put me in alignment with my soul, right? So a lot of us are coming into that place right now. And in that, there's so much power, right? That you can actually just stand with your two feet on the ground in your own power and your own sovereignty. And then they're also showing me as well, like that we have some, some new people who are still learning about this, right? And it's not that you guys need to be nervous about the upcoming things that are going to come. Um, because you know, a lot of those people who have been here doing this work have transmuted a lot of these energies for you. So anybody who is just waking up right now is going to have a lot easier time navigating their awakening journey and navigating these energies compared to somebody who woke up 10 or 15, 20, 30 years ago, right? And these things are going to happen a lot faster for you. So it may be a little bit of a shock to the system is what I'm hearing. Maybe a little bit of a shock to the system, but it's actually going to be easier for you. It's not going to take as long or be as hard and it's going to happen a lot faster and a lot easier. So, you know, there isn't anything to kind of fear in this. And they're also showing me as well, like a roller coaster. A lot of us have been feeling like we're getting thrown around on this roller coaster a little bit. And it's kind of going up and down these huge mountains and valleys. And this is going to begin to actually even out where we're going to start to kind of come to a place where we're a lot more even and it's not going to be peaking and dropping dropping as much. And this is part of that self mastery. This is part of us standing in our own divine power. This is part of us learning the tools and different ways that we can nourish our full multidimensional system. It's also because we're becoming more conscious and more aware and present in each moment. So as we go through this month, it's going to bring a lot of recalibration, rebalancing into our reality. We're going to be reworking some of these things and really creating that solid foundation for our healing and for this new version of you. There is going to be an element of this reflection where we're kind of going back and we're taking the parts of the old that we enjoy, we're reworking them and bringing them into a new light. So this is going to be an absolutely 
huge, beautiful month with so many amazing energies. Um, I'm also going to be hosting a live energy convergence meditation on the 10th of October. So this is going to help us be able to shift some of those denser energies that are being held in our lower uh, chakras and actually activate some of these higher energies that are in our higher chakras and converging them together and giving you a beautiful, beautiful heart opening experience where we're going to actually start to integrate our higher self. So we're really standing in our power and that we're really honoring both our physical body as well as these higher aspects of ourselves. So we're converging our lower energies and our higher energies together. And this meditation and workshop, guys, is going to help you be able to do everything that happened to just come up in this energy update because we're really starting to step into that self-mastery and really starting to step into our divine power on a whole new level. So it's going to be so incredibly beautiful and amazing amazing. I'm also going to be hosting an eclipse ceremony and meditation, which, you know, my portal community, you guys are going to have access to this. Um, so you can either get this eclipse ceremony through being part of the divine ascension portal or by just, um, you know, enjoying that as a single thing, whatever works for you guys. So we have such a huge, beautiful energy that's going to be coming in this month. So we can expect a lot of shifts happening a lot of new happening, a little bit of reworking that can be happening. And one of the main things that um, they're bringing in just to finish off with is that you are 100% safe and that you can just surrender and flow and honor what is coming up and reach out, find that support system and that community of like-minded people wherever it is that you feel resonates most with you. You have to follow your intuition and follow what is resonating with your being in this now moment and this will not steer you wrong guys so with all of that being said we'll end our um, october energy update so if you guys liked this video and you found it helpful please like it subscribe leave a comment let me know if this is resonating with you and if you're feeling some of these big energies or an anticipation to some of these big energies that are going to be coming in and I am sending you guys so much love and light.